In the quick of the tap, we're back. <laughs> okay. All right, so coming into um, yeah, let's start off standing um, today. Um, we'll do like a standing like meditation first to start. So hands can stay on your heart center, ground down through your feet. Think about engaging your quads, crown of your head lifts. Allowing yourself to come into your breath. Nice deep inhale. to our bodies and to ourselves. It feels a little bit different standing when on the back or seated. Our own ancestors and our own lineage. There's a person or persons, place or places that you'd like to dedicate your practice to today. stuff and kind of make your way down. So just kind of like brief touches on the sequence of the Ashtanga series. And I say sequences because I understand that things have been in practice for a long time and I've also been taught by teachers <laughs> um, that sometimes this stuff in it being the only thing that we do and the sequence can also strain things in our hips, blah, blah, blah. So it's okay to rear off course every once in a while. Are you gonna get that bumpy fun ride? Okay, inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, come down and over the tops of the thighs. Engage the low belly. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step, step back into your plank. Press back through your heels. Stretch through the calves and then stretch forward. We lower and lift. Breathe into the base of the belly. Shoulder blades roll down and back. And then exhale. Lower the big toes, press yourself back in half. Nice deep bend down here. And exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, step, step, feet come up to meet hands. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, come down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, ground down through the feet as you sweep yourself all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands move down through heart line. Let's come into a sunbeam. Inhale, sweep yourself into chair. Exhale, come down and over, engage the low belly. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step, step, back into plank. We lower and lift, making sure our shoulders don't come below our elbows. Why don't you go ahead and turn back and look at your back left glute. 
move through Sana line, you're gonna look up back past your right, get into your side joints, come back to center, roll over the toes, press back. Nice deep inhale. Let's spice it up a little bit. Inhale, right leg comes high, we shift forward, left knee, a couple of dips, leg moves back and high. Knee to nose, press around and hold, maybe deep, bend the elbows, lift, modified push-ups, right leg comes back and high, right knee, to right elbow, drop and lift, leg moves back and high and spot your right thumb. So turn that left foot down and flat. Inhale, warrior one. If this hurts your hip, which it could, <laughs> um, you can always be on the ball of your back foot with your back knee kind of bent here. All right, engaging your glute and checking out the integrity of the spine and then exhale. Come down and over. Step the foot back, press back through the heels and shift forward. We lower and lift. Warrior one is interesting to me because David really did teach that things press back into down dog. Right, when I say David, I say David Vendetti. That with that back heel turn, you can mess up that ligament in the hip. Right, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be stretched, but maybe not in that way. But I love how it's just kind of written into a rule and everyone goes, yeah, because a bunch of fucking white dudes wrote it down. <laughs> and said, this is the way. God. Anyway, that left knee, right elbow, dip a few times. Right, nice deep inhale. And I say white dudes because they were the colonizers, y'all. Okay, all right. Knee to nose, down and up. Leg moves back and high. And then left knee to left elbow. Maybe you move down and up. Leg moves back and high. Step that left foot to meet that left hand. Remember, you can hop right toes out and over. Coming into a high crescent lunge. Right? Or you can always have option of turning that back heel down. Right? Nice deep inhale. And exhale, come down and over the top of the thigh, hands plant, set that foot back, drop, lift, big inhale. Exhale, roll over the toes, press back into your down dog. Spot in between the two thumbs, step, step, feet come up to meet hands. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over the tops of the thighs. And then inhale, we pull ourselves all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands move down through her line. Let's step out with our left foot. You're gonna turn your right toes on nice and straight. That back foot's in to a 45 degree angle. Turn your hips forward, hinging at the hip and coming into your triangle pose. Big inhale, hold here. Exhale, ground down through the back edge of the foot and think about wrapping your muscles around your bones. Big inhale. Exhale, pull yourself back to center. Pivot on the heel of that opposite foot. We go to that opposite side, hinge through the hip, reach through the fingertips. Hand comes down to shin, opposite hand to the sky. Big inhale here. Exhale, pull yourself back up. Go ahead and hinge your feet through. We're going to pivot back over to that opposite side. Maybe you widen your stance, put a bend in your knee, side angle pose. Hand can be here, or you can pull your fingertips towards the front wall, big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, pull yourself back up. Straighten through that front leg, same thing on the opposite side. Turn your toes, reach through the fingers. Bend in the front knee. Side angle pose, hand up to the sky or fingertips pull towards the front of the room. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, pull yourself back up. We're gonna move through center line again. Turn yourself towards the front of the room. You're gonna come into twisted triangle. So inhale, that right left arm comes high 
it comes to the outside or the inside of your right foot. You can always use a block. I like to use a block up by my toe so I can pull my hip back a little bit more here. Big inhale. You can also manually move that right hip back. If you need to shorten your stance, do so. Think about grounding down through your feet equally on both sides. Finding that compression in your groin. Big inhale. Exhale. Slowly pull yourself back up. Pivot through center line. Same thing on that opposite side. Block comes high. Maybe you turn that block towards your big toe. That opposite hand comes high to the sky. Twist and triangle. Check in with the compression in your groin. How can you fire up through both of your legs? Slowly release. Bring yourself back through center line. I'm going to do one more thing. Okay. So hop those toes out a little bit. Twisted. I like to stay on the ball of this back foot to so jack up your knee, but choice again. You could drop this. Um, but coming into twist and keeping the hips pulling. So right hip pulls back, left hip pulls forward. You can also take the hand to the outside of the foot. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. You're going to pivot through center line. Same thing one more time. Bend in that knee. The block, again, I like to be on the ball of that back foot. But keep your glute engaged. People sag here, right? So think about engaging this part of your glute. Next, deep inhale. Right hand can come down, left hand can come to the sky. Remember, you can always take your hand to the outside of your right foot too. Kind of use some compression there on the inside of the groin, outside of the IT band. And slowly release. Bring yourself back through center line. Turn your toes in. And then take yourself down and over the tops of your thighs. Crown of the head comes down to the earth. Take your heels out as you shift the weight of the hips over the heels. You can always take your head to a block just to kind of get the feeling of the pressure on the top of the crown of the head so you know what you're going for on the floor. And then give your hips permission to release. Pull up and in on your low belly. And again, rock the weight of your hips over your heels. Relax and release here. Walk your hands out to the right edge, the outside edge of your right foot. Turn your torso towards the top of that thigh. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly let yourself swing through center line. Same thing on that opposite side. Lifting through the hips, ground down through the big toe mount. The baby toe mount and the heel, and turn your torso towards the top of that left thigh. Then let yourself come back through center. Let yourself fall a little bit heavier this time. In the traditional Ashtanga, there's this conversation of walking hands back. You can also take hands here. You can also bind your big toes. They're all a posture. And so they walk you through each of them. And then go ahead and take your hands to your hips. And then on your next inhale, lift yourself up to stand. Heel toe your feet back together. Let's come into goddess pose just to counter that. Turn your toes out. Inhale, arms come high, star pose. Exhale, squat. Inhale, stand. Check in with your hips. Have you seen that John Travolta like thing with um, uh, Jamie? Come to me. This is what this always reminds me of. <laughs> squat, inhale up. 
Exhale, squat. We go for four, for three, for two, Jamie Lee Curtis, and one. <laughs> Hold here. Take your hands to the inside of your thighs. Press your thighs away from you. Really create that space yourself in your body. And then go ahead and drop your left shoulder. Let that pass your right. Exhale, hold here. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, pull yourself back through center line. Same thing again, drop. Look out past that left shoulder. Dropping down through your right. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. Straighten out through the legs. Heel toe your feet. Turn back towards the top of your mat. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, come down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. And then exhale, hands come down to the mat, step, step. Tops of the feet hit the mat. Let's do a quick supported child so we can get into the front part of our hips. So kind of ending off class in this way. Blocks, make a V wedge, press into the blocks and let yourself fall over the top of the blocks. You're still pulling your sit bones down towards the earth, gripping with your fingertips, rolling back and down through your shoulders. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale slowly. Walk your hands back towards you. Set your blocks off. Pull your heels or your knees together to touch. Right hand outside of your left leg. Turn and twist and look back behind you. Slowly move yourself through center line. Same thing on that opposite side. Your hand can come around to grab onto that hip or to the waistband. Turn and look. And then go ahead and slowly bring yourself back. Shift and rock down onto your seat. Take the soles of the feet together to touch. Shift and move your backside side to side. Sit up nice and tall right here. And then exhale, bring yourself down and over the inside of your thighs, rocking back and forth and letting your femur bones fall down to the earth. As the crown of the head shifts, pull up and in on your low belly to protect your sacrum. Keep squeezing the soles of the feet together. Slowly release. Pull your knees up to center line. Come all the way down into your back. Cross that left ankle over the top of your right leg. And lock your fingers back behind your thigh and pull your legs in towards your chest as you pull down through your low belly. Tuck your chin in towards your chest and flex that right foot. Open up to the outside of your right hip. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. Exhale. Last time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Same thing on that opposite side, the ankle crosses over the top of the thigh. Flex the foot, interlock your fingers maybe the opposite way, back behind the thigh and pull the legs into the chest. Big inhale. And exhale. Two more, big inhale. And exhale. 
exhale. Last time, day again. And exhale, slowly release. Take both soles of the feet up to the sky. Put your legs open wide. Pull down through your low back. Hands on your belly. Flex through the toes. Let your hips open and expand. Thinking about relaxing and releasing through the lower part of your sacrum. One more big breath here. And then exhale. Use the strength of the inner thighs to pull the legs together. Lift them high. And slowly them come all the way down to the end of the mat. Toes hop out to the side. Palms face up to the sky. Shavasana. Oh, that was a good one, girl. I like that one. Keep breathing. I gotta get myself out to the sun. I'm not here looking like a brunette. Not that there's anything wrong with brunettes. <laughs> I just like myself a lot so much. I know. Mean, so allowing yourself to continue to breathe. life in new ways, wherever or whenever you are. You will always recognize yourself, and you will always exist. Play with the idea of the universe and all its manifestations appears out through you. It mingles and joins with your energy to see the world through your uniqueness and expands as you do. You are the pioneer of this universal frontier. The universe needs you to know it in all its forms. If you believe everything is separate, you will want to guide, you will want a guide, an angel or light being, someone or something outside of you who shows you to show the way. However, everything is as one and nothing is separate. So nothing is on the outside looking in. The universe sees wonderment through your eyes and you see wonderment in the universe because your own authority choose to feel good by discerning what makes you laugh, love, and enjoy. Focus on this and you'll create similar manifestations. And whatever you don't focus upon will fall away from lack of attention. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, the divine love in me, Sees, honors, and reflects the divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in each of you, and in you, dear Jane, a collective we, and all of us. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me this afternoon, evening, morning. 
whenever you choose to burn the on demand. Um, and uh, for trusting me with your heart, body, spirit, and soul. And to that I say, go in peace and remember to serve love always. Peace and love, God.